there were other things that were mentioned after the working committee met. Mm. Number one was opening up the door to other parties. People are assuming, uh, you would have seen, uh, there's been some attacks as well, mm. that uh, you are trying to hold uh, the government at ransom, mm. you may be going towards uh, the other party that others do not agree. Can you clarify for the people? Yeah, the uh, management board, uh, the, which called the working committee met and they have uh, given some um, four opportunities for the management to look into and that's one of it, uh, looking at other parliamentary parties, uh, political parties. That's, uh, I mean, people have to take into context too at that time, uh, the working committee's uh, temperament is, was <laughs> a little bit, uh, you know, hot. Eh? So, so it was made with anger and haste? Um, you can say that, but you know, like anything else, uh, human nature. But again, like I said, you know, as we go to the day, people are going to make decisions. But, pe but people would want to know, William, uh, mm. in relation to whether you will or you have started discussions with oh, Fiji first. First of all, we haven't started. In fact, we have numerous calls from uh, people from PP, their supporters. Uh, we've had uh, calls too from Fiji First and their supporters. And we've told them we cannot start any discussion unless we overturn the current uh, management board, um, you know, resolution that we are to go to uh, to stay with the coalition until the, the end of it. Uh, but because the resolution, the recommendation has been given, we have to present that to the management board, and the management board will give the approval whether to to talk to anyone else in regards to moving forward. So, who from Fiji First is contacting who at Sodelpa? We haven't contacted anyone. It's just the supporters. Most of them are just so Fiji First. Supporters. Just Facebook. Uh, the, they are sending messages to the office and. Uh, get you um, to have start discussion. Yeah, to start the discussion. But it's, we cannot do it unless we are given an approval to start discussions. Yesterday you also said that the coalition agreement stands and mm. you want to continue working with the current coalition partners. Yeah, that's the, that is the current standing of the party. That is how it is. Eh? The new uh, re recommendation from the working committee is to give this opportunity uh, to be discussed. Do you think it will go down well with the current partners? How, how, what do you think about that? <coughs> I think uh, like this is our process. Eh? I'm just, that's why I'm, we are a little bit open and transparent that this is the discussions happening online. I mean here on, on uh, the, this table the working committee have shown their uh, the recommendation. I'm just a conduit between the the concerns to the management board to present them documentation so that they make uh, an educated uh, decision. What, what were the other recommendations of the working group? You said well, we, that's the others. thing that we will present it first to the. Unfortunately, you know that uh, we will present it to the management board. And then we will uh, make. Uh, One was in relation to talk to other parties. The only yeah, other party that's, uh, in parliament is Fiji First because uh, the other ones are in the coalition. O o there's another one that's been talked about is the prime minister to be replaced. Uh, yes, because of uh, that was from uh, the findings of this uh, thing, this uh, reporting from a series explanation and the facts being presented. Maybe the office of the Prime Minister is not uh, telling the Prime Minister everything or the Prime Minister's office is not, uh, you know, is not upfront to the Prime Minister with the documentations and things. Even, like I said, our letters, we've been sending letters to the Prime Minister's office but we don't get a reply. And that's specifically from this office, the Secretariat, writing to the Prime Minister's office on the concerns of the management board from this office to the office of the Prime Minister, but we don't get a reply. I fully understand that they 
maybe the, the prime, prime minister and the party leader talks, but it could be in the vicinity of the cabinet, ministri cabinet ministerial jobs. You know, uh, that uh, discretion eh, on the operations of the government. But we don't, the party don't get involved in that. We only write to the Prime Minister based on the concerns of the... So you, so you would want the Prime Minister to be communicating directly to the party if the party has any concerns? As per the agreement, eh? as per the coalition agreement. And have that uh, meeting, the monthly meeting that's supposed to happen? To continue with that, because if that happens, at least uh, there'll be no anxiety on our side. Eh? There's a lot of, and when you don't talk and don't communicate, the anxiety it seems to build just, up. Just for clarity, also the issue in relation to the prime minister saying that he was acting and urging and asking based on uh, the solicitor general's legal advice that the FNU uh, appointments need to be actioned, need to be reinstated to uh, ensure there's no legal consequences and he's acted because the minister did not act, uh, was defiant or uh, as he said disobedient and uh, somehow, uh, uh, you know, amounting to insubordination. What's your comments on that? Well, we've seen the report. They have been reinstated uh, and they've already finished two or three council meetings as the media is reporting. Again, like I cannot answer that question because it's an internal ministerial communication between the, the government. But just looking at the media that's going on now and the media outlet and the reports, they were reinstated. Uh, so I really, like I said, we just need to present it to our management board. And, so, and so that question could be really asked uh, the Prime Minister and SG and uh, the Minister himself. Now we had the dismissed uh, Minister Ranrondo mm. making a public apology for everything that happened mm. and so putting it down to miscommunication and moving on. Mm. And also that, uh, you know, just uh, for him for his dismissal to be rescinded and for him to be appointed. Is that something that will be taken to the management board based on Ronro wanting the Minister for Education portfolio back? <coughs> uh, again, the management board will de decide, but uh, the management board also understand it is the prerogative of the Prime Minister to appoint, dismiss uh, his ministers. Eh? Our, our part as a secretariat is to document the things, make sure that we are in line with our <coughs> party constitution and because the party constitution is attached to the coalition agreement, we need to make sure we are complying with it so that uh, you know, uh, we are following the, the, our own laws and regulations and that, that is under the political parties act. Eh?